Yo, what is up guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today, we got another decent size um, college basketball slate, and I got six plays for you guys. But first, before we start the video and we start the recap, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up, and comment down below who your favorite college basketball play for today is. Alright, let's go into our recap of yesterday. Uh, we did... Not great. We went three and four. Uh, our losses were Western Carolina, plus one and a half. Uh, they lost by eleven points. Uh, VCU lost by sixteen. We had them plus two and a half. Kentucky lost by one. We had them minus three and a half. And Northwestern lost by eleven, and we had them, or they lost by sixteen. We had them plus eleven. My bad. Our wins though, we got. Georgia Tech pick them, 100% right there. Uh, they won by 18 points against Clemson. Providence, as 9.5 point dogs against Creighton, won straight up by 4 points yesterday. And then Auburn covered the spread. They didn't win the game, but they covered the spread. They lost by 2 to Arkansas. All right. Well, we are now 165, 164, and 4. 50.2%. I'm trying to push to get that to 52, 53% by the start of March Madness. So let's get that started with today's slate. I got six plays for you guys. Uh, and first, we're going to be starting at the earliest game here, the 2 o'clock game in the MAC. We've got Eastern Michigan heading to Buffalo. Uh, it's 11 and a half point spread minus 750 run back of plus 550. Eastern Michigan comes into this game four and five, one and four in the MAC conference, coming off a loss against Central Michigan, and then Buffalo coming in five and five, three and two in the MAC. And after starting three and zero oh in the MAC, they've lost back to back games to Bowling Green and Kent State. Uh, and looking at this, I think that this is just too many points uh, for Eastern Michigan here. Uh, 11 and a half, I think, is way too wide for this uh, for this matchup. Uh, my, my my model has the uh, Buffalo uh, winning by five points in this game, so we're going to be taking Eastern Michigan here as one of our top plays for the day at plus 11 and a half, uh, with that six and a half points of um, value on that line. Next, we head to the seven o'clock games. Uh, with a matchup in the Big Ten, we got the Rutgers taking on Penn State. One and a half point spread, minus 125. Uh, run back of plus 105 for Penn State. And uh, Rutgers coming to this game. Uh, oh, it moved back down to one and a half. Forgot about that. I have it written down at two. Uh, Rutgers coming to this game. Uh, seven and five. Three and five in the Big uh, in the Big Ten Conference, they started three and one, but have lost four straight games. All two quality opponents, though. Tenth uh, ranked Iowa at the time, twenty third uh, ranked Michigan State, uh, Ohio State, and ninth ranked uh, Wisconsin. So they've played a really good uh, schedule. This Big Ten is really good for basketball this year between Wisconsin, Michigan, Michigan State, Illinois, Iowa. Uh, so watch out for the Big Ten when it comes to March Madness this year, because I think one of them may go all the way. Uh, on the other side, Penn State, they're not a team that is like the others. Uh, they are 3-6, and 0-5 oh in the Big Ten. Uh, lo uh, five straight losses versus uh, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Purdue, and another one against Illinois. Um, I think this, this game is... Relatively cut and simple and dry. We're going to go with Rutgers here at minus one and a half. Um, my model has them winning by 6.4 points. And I think they're just the clear better team. They're just on a uh, struggle against really good teams. And finally, when they get a team that's not a killer like Iowa or Wisconsin or Michigan or Ohio State, they're going to win this game. I think they're going to win this game pretty soundly. Give me Rutgers here, minus one and a half versus Penn State. Next, we head to the Ohio Valley Conference with Eastern Illinois taking on Belmont. Uh, it's a 12 and a half point spread, minus 925 for Belmont, plus 665 for Eastern Illinois. 
And I think if you're playing a money line parlay, I never do. But Belmont's the first team I'm walking in there at minus 925. Uh, my model has them winning by 17.6 points. Belmont looks like the real deal this year. They are 14 and 1, 8 and 0 in the Ohio Valley Conference. Uh, they're on a 11 game win streak. Uh, their most recent wins were against Jacksonville State, Tennessee Tech, and UT Martin. So not the highest quality of opponents, but they're on a roll this year. This Belmont team is no team to be sleeping on. Uh, I think they can probably get a, an 11, 12 seed in the uh, tournament and probably win against a 5 or 6 and then potentially a 4 or a 3 or something like that. They have the, a shot to make the Sweet 16, uh, potentially. But uh, we're going with Belmont here at minus 12.5 with 5.1 points of value on that line. Next, we move super far down the list right here to uh, the Big Sky Conference, we where we have Montana State taking on Northern Arizona, seven and three uh, record for Montana State, four and zero in the Big Sky. Uh, on the other side, uh, Arizona, Northern Arizona, is four and nine, three and four in the Big Sky Conference. Uh, it is a six-point spread, minus 255 for Montana State, plus 215 for Northern Arizona. Uh, Montana come Montana State look coming in looking good. Uh, they're on a five-game win streak, two of them against Portland State, two of them against Northern Colorado. Uh, Northern Arizona coming in on a win against Montana. Um, so... Both these teams coming in on a win. I remember one, uh, that Northern Arizona, they won that game straight up as, I believe, like 11 or 12-point dog. So that was a good game for them. But I think Montana State gets this win, and they and they covered the spread here at minus 6. My model has them winning by 10.5 points. So we're getting 4.5 points of value on the line here for Montana State. So we are looking at them minus 6 versus Northern Arizona. Next, we have an 8:05 game here once again in the Big Sky, uh, kind of like a Big Sky day. Uh, one point spread now. I had that written at one and a half earlier, which makes me like my bet even more. Um, this is a one point spread, minus 115, minus 105. So basically a pick 'em here. Uh, Montana coming in six and seven, two and four in the Big Sky. Uh, Sacramento State coming in five and two. Three and one in the Big Sky. Uh, Montana coming off a loss against NAU, uh, and Sacramento State coming off a win against Idaho State. Um, and I like Montana. I like the Grizz here in this game. And I'm just going to go the straight up money line at minus one fifteen. Uh, I'm going to take. I'm going to give away the point, or yeah, and we're going to just take the money line at minus one fifteen here and get a six points of value here. Uh, on this line, uh, I just feel like it's, that's a perfectly okay thing to do, and I think Montana is going to get it done. I think they're just going to win the game straight up. So give me Montana on the money line minus one fifteen versus Sacramento State. And our final game of the night here, we head to the West uh, Coast Conference. Uh, where there we go, where we have Pacific. Taking on Pepperdine, uh, three-point spread, minus 155 for Pepperdine, uh, plus 135 for Pacific. And this line has also moved since I've, in the last few minutes. I originally had this written down at two and a half. It is now three. Uh, Pacific coming in five and one, two and oh in the West Coast Conference. Uh they're on a four-game winning streak against Montana State, Westmont, Loyola, Marymount, and Santa Clara. Pepperdine coming in five and six uh, with a one and one record in the West Coast Conference, coming off of a win versus Portland. And uh, we're looking at the dog here, uh, plus three and straight up. Um, I'm liking uh, Pacific. I think they should be. They should have been a two and a half, three point favorite in this game. My model has them at minus two point eight. So we're getting five point eight points of value on that plus three line, and we're getting two point eight points of value on a plus one thirty five line. So we are. I really like Pacific tonight, and we're going to take them to win the game straight up as well as the plus three. 
All right, let's quickly go over our place for today, and then we will head on out of here. We're taking Eastern Michigan plus 11.5 versus Buffalo. Rutgers minus 2 versus Penn State. Belmont minus 12.5 versus Eastern Illinois. Montana State minus 6 versus Northern Arizona. Montana minus 115 versus Sacramento State. And Pacific plus 3 and on the money line versus Pepperdine. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe down below. Uh, we're trying to work our way up to 250 subscribers right now, and every subscriber helps. Um, we have daily content on this channel in the NFL, the playoffs coming up this weekend. College basketball, we're doing that six days a week. Uh, college football will return next season. UFC will return Saturday for McGregor and Poye. Uh, Esports, my brother is doing that every night for Counter-Strike. NBA, we're doing that every single day as well. WNBA in a few months. NHL every single day. And then MLB in.